What's up, party people? My name is Daryl, and today in this video, I'm gonna show you all how you can install WordPress on your computer locally so you can work on your website offline, and it's also a little bit faster, too, when you're working offline. Then I'm gonna show you how to take that same website and upload it to your server on the internet so it'll be live on the internet. Now, you don't need any sort of knowledge of developer MySQL stuff. You don't need to know anything about databases because what we're gonna use is a free plugin and also a free website that you can use to work on your website locally on your computer. So there is a link in the description. It'll take you to this website called localwp.com. You can also get there by going to localwp.com. Now this is the fastest local host I've come across. I've used Bitnami, I've used other ones, and local by flywheel is by far the fastest solution out there. And again, it is completely free. So you'll come to this website and you'll click on free download. Now. I'm gonna walk you through the entire process from start to finish, and I'm not gonna leave anything out because I know you've probably seen other videos and people like to leave stuff out because it's just sometimes it's it's hard, you know, to, to go through the process except to finish or start to finish. So here I'll go ahead and put in my name right here, and I'll put in my email. Oop. Phone number, no thank you. I'm not gonna give them my phone number. We love you, local by flywheel, but I just don't want to give you that information. So right here, you can see that the file has started to download on the bottom left right here. So what I'm gonna do now is wait for this to finish downloading. All right, so once you have downloaded it, this will be the file right here. Now this works for Mac and PC. So if you are using both uh, operating systems, it'll work for both. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and open this and I'm going to install it on my computer. Now, once you have installed it on your computer, you can go ahead and open up the application. So now that you've opened up the application right here, it'll prompt you to create a new site. So simply click on create a new site and give your site a name. So I'll just do Daryl Wilson's, Daryl Wilson website. Again, you can always change this later, so don't worry about it too much. Here, I'll click on continue. Now right here, they have two options. They have preferred and they have custom. Now you can work on your WordPress website via different PHP versions if you want to do that. But uh, I'm just gonna click on preferred because I don't really want to worry about different PHP versions for now. You can do that on your own time. Uh, right here, click on preferred. So go ahead and type in a WordPress username. So I'm gonna type in my WordPress username and type in a WordPress password. Make sure to write this down because if you forget it's um, and you don't remember it or it does the email doesn't work uh, I don't know what you're gonna do so <laughs> just make sure you write it down here and then put in the correct email and then right here I'll click on add sites so right now it is creating our WordPress website so just give it a few minutes now all right cool so now your site is created so right here you can click on admin now right here, you can go ahead and log in to your WordPress website using the credentials that I told you to write down before. So I'll go ahead and enter those in and click on log in. All right, so congratulations. Your website is now local on your computer. And if you wanna see the website, just click on visit sites and you can see this is the name right here. And you can make any changes you want. You can build out your website. So let's just go ahead and go to appearance and themes. Here, I'll click on add new and just go to popular and you can see it's very fast. Now, I've used other services like Bitnami and I'm gonna tell you right now, uh, Bitnami is one of the slowest WordPress local hosts I've ever used. I don't even know how they're in business to, to be honest. I've used them before and I used them recently and it was just a disaster. So uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and import an Astro Starter website and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take this same website and we're going to upload it onto a live website. With the magic of video editing, my site is completed and I'll go ahead and take a look at my current website that is on local. Cool, awesome. So you can see here, I just imported an Astro Starter website with Elementor and I have different pages, I have images, I have all this cool stuff. Now let's take this same website and upload it to uh, one of my domains that I have with uh, SiteGround and take that same website and put it live on the internet. So what I'm gonna do now is, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna install a plugin. So right here, go to dashboard. All right, and wait, wait one second here, one second. Uh, what, what was that all about? Okay, that was weird. You guys see that weird error? I don't know. Sometimes in WordPress you get that stuff, all right? So uh, right here, uh, plugins and click on add new. 
All right, and then we're gonna type in all in one, all in one, just like that, all in one. And this is the plugin that you're going to use, all in one WP migration. It's a free plugin, doesn't cost you anything whatsoever. So right here, click on install now. All right, and you wanna do the same thing on your other WordPress website. So uh, right here under plugins, I'm gonna go to add new, type in all in one, and I'm gonna go ahead and install this same plugin on my other website as well. So right here, you can see that it is ready. I'm gonna go ahead and activate it. So now we're in the process of taking this website on local and uploading it to our other website. So here we actually have the plugin. Now right here under all-in-one WP migration, click on exports. Right here we have options. So go to exports and click on file. So right now it's going to basically take our entire website and export it and look at that. So right here, just click on download the websites. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to go back to our current websites and right here under all-in-one WP migration, now you can see, just to give you an example, uh, this is a blank website and we're going to turn it into that other website. So right here, all-in-one WP migration, click on import, right here, import from, and we have file. So go ahead and find the file that you downloaded from the previous websites. All right, so I've taken that file and now I'm uploading it to this current website. So uh, give it a few minutes. Actually, I don't even have to edit the video. It's going pretty fast. So I'm just gonna, just gonna wait it out here. All right, so right now they're basically telling us that this will destroy our old websites and replace everything with the website that we created on local. So right here, click on proceed. All right, cool. So it says our website has been imported successfully. Let's hope for the best. Come on, come on, let's do this. Finish. Now let's go ahead and click on visit sites. And there you go. So now we have that same website that we created right here. Go ahead and close this. We have that same website that we created on local and it is virtually the same exact website. So this is the website on local and this is the current website that we um, imported it from local. So you can see here, everything looks good. So make sure to give me a like and let me know in the comments below how this worked out for you. Now, again, they do have a pro version. So your site's really, really, really big. I think it's unlimited actually. I was actually reading that uh, under import. It says get unlimited. So um, you can have a very big website and it'll still import it. And I recommend doing this if you're not experienced with databases and stuff because it can get a little tricky to migrate websites and stuff like that. But um, I hope this video was helpful. Hopefully by now you can import, or first off, you can create your website on local and you can kind of hide it from your clients, which I think a lot of us want to do because if their clients, your clients see the website building on the website, then no, 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 you don't want to do that, trust me. And so uh, again, my name is Daryl Wilson. Hopefully this video helped you out. Make sure to give me a big thumbs up and I will see all of you party people in the next video. Take care.